In this video, you're gonna see some rigging hacks that'll make sure that you're getting the most life out of your soft plastics, whether you're using a traditional style jig head like this or a new style jig head that's weedless, these hacks will certainly help save some money. So here is hack number one. This is a traditional style jig head. You basically do the, the normal rigging until you get to this point right about here. And the goal here is to make sure that we don't tear the plastic in the area, in the, in the axis that is being used. So before you push it up, most people right now just push the lure up. And what that does with these big keepers is that'll actually do some tearing. It'll tear right on the top and bottom of the soft plastic. And that is gonna decrease the lifespan of the soft plastic. So before pushing up, what we do is do a 90 degree turn, right? Twist it 90 degrees. Now, when we do the tears, those tears are gonna happen on the sides of the lure. We get it all the way up to the top part of it, and then we do 90 degree, degree turn back in action. So now that we do that, all of the plastic on the top and bottom that's now holding the keeper, that's now holding the lure in place, that has not been torn, has not been compromised. This thing is on here incredibly good. And that is, again, again, quick little hack, super easy to do, and will absolutely help make sure that your soft plastics last a long time. For the weedless rig, with this style jig head, there's two things to think about. Number one is we actually want this head to be all the way fixed up front, right? Especially if you're using shrimp lures, this power prawn has been my go-to. This is by far my most trusted lure for the summer when the fish are lethargic. It has great motion in the water. It has a great silhouette. And so on a slow retrieve right on the bottom, and when your rig weedless, we can get on the bottom next to structure, this thing has been dynamite. And so the key is that at the first point here, when we kick it out, we wanna kick it out at the same distance it is from this turn of the hook all the way up to the jig head. We want all of that to be material to lock this jig head into place. Number one, that has as much plastic as possible holding the lure into place. When you get to this, one, when you get to this point, you just do a quick little turn and it'll automatically slide right up. So now this jig head is fixed into place. As I mentioned earlier, that just has the, 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 most, uh, the most plastic keeping it in place. Number two is it helps with skippability. This head pivoting significantly decreases the skippability of the lure. And when you fix it into place, it'll skip a whole lot better. And so now that we have it all the way up, next step is just to get the hook through the belly. And for that, just go through the underbelly. Note with your finger where it's gonna go naturally out. And then just do a quick little 90 degree turn, pop it out. And now this is a perfectly rigged shrimp. So thank you so much for your time and watching. Hopefully these tips helped you out, whether you're using paddle tails on a traditional jig head or, or power bronze on the weedless jig head. Obviously you can use paddle tails or, or, or the shrimp lures on either style jig head. They all work. And if you need any of these items, they're all at fishstrong.com. These rigging items and the soft plastics have all proven to be great with redfish, sea trout, snook flounder. And if you need any of them, if you haven't yet tried, any of these out, make sure to go to fishstrong.com. And if you're an Insider Club member, you'll get 20% off of all of these items. If you have any questions at all about this rigging, please use the comments section down below. Also, if you have any other hacks on how to make this rigging better, please leave that down below as well. We would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for your time and watching. We hope to see you again soon.